All right, the line fire continues to burn over 37,000 acres with 18% containment at the moment. It has forced multiple communities to evacuate. We saw it on Patrick's interactive map. We're going to take you there live now with News Channel 3's Shay Lawson joining us live from the edge of the fire with the latest update. Shay. That's right, Angela. I'm live in Angeles Oaks at a drop location where you can see a fire engine behind me. Now, firefighters are doing the best that they can to protect homes in the area from this fire. I'm joined by Captain Curtis Rhodes uh, with Cal Fire. He's one of the PIOs for the line fire. Our crews have been tracking this fire. We've seen a lot of changes, a lot of burnt trees, more burnt infrastructure. Can you kind of speak to the progress of the line fire and you know what's the fire still doing? Uh, we're still seeing a lot of fire activity on the north end of this fire. However, yesterday with the challenging winds uh, that we're battling up here in this community, we did see that fire front transition towards the community. However, we had our ground crews in place to go direct on that incident and work directly with the aerial branch directors to get the helicopters in here, slow that forward progress down, and continue to run it up the drainage and keep it out of the uh, community here in Angeles Oaks. That's great to know. And, you know, speaking to those helicopters, I understand that some of the other fires in the area, they could pose a threat to the aircrafts. Are you guys seeing that just because of the smoke and everything? Absolutely. They have a challenging uh, mission ahead of them. When we start to see that inversion layer come down, uh, it tends to challenge them when they get in near the fire. However, the past couple of days, we've seen that inversion lift and they'd be able to come in here and drop directly on the fires, um, steer the forward progress of it and let those ground crews continue to put in mitigation efforts to keep the community safe. Thank you so much, Captain. Now, you know, as the fire progresses, Angeles Oaks is not out of danger. In fact, around us, you can probably see the smoke. It's getting a little bit into my throat. I'm feeling a little bit choked up. But, you know, we're very grateful for our firefighters. I know the community is, you know, and that's all we can do. We will continue to bring you updates both on air and online at KESQ.com. I'm reporting live in Angeles Oaks. Shay Lawson, News Channel 3.